Welcome back to Capture One. This is Acer Studio. Today we'll be looking at how to edit images in Capture One. The aim of this video is not necessarily about um, giving you tips and tricks on how to edit your images, but I just want to show you just simple workflow I would actually do if I want to edit a photo like this. So, whatever um, problem you might be facing in any photo you have you can actually pick some you know method or technique i'm going to be using and if that helps in your editing you can you know kudos to the video then all right so let's get started uh i like fixing things one after the other and i'm going to use the white balance too and the first thing i noticed before that was the the variation in skin color. You can see the hand and the face is not the same, and also the eyes are not white, and the face is rough, of which you can fix that in Photoshop, but we can fix the skin tones in Capture One, and then maybe use frequency separation in Photoshop. Okay, so let's do it one after the other. I'm gonna grab a new fill empty layer, and just to show you what it does it covers the whole image with with the mask so you can hit m on the keyboard to view and review and hide the mask so i'm just gonna name this first adjustment first adjust a dj and i'm just gonna hit okay so let's close out this panel i'm gonna use the white balance first of all and let's click where we where should be white of which we can use the cloth or use a highs and use anywhere i'm just going to use the cloth instead and using the cloth you can see the difference so this and this okay so that's one of the things i'm going to do let's get to the next one i'm going to click on new empty layer and i want to whiten up the teeth so grab the brush tool i'm going to zoom in and paint the places the eyes white the white part of the eyes it's m on the keyboard to view and review the mask I'm gonna zoom out the same place this one too and i'm gonna do for the teeth as well sorry so let's do something like this and you can take your time and remove it from where you don't need it so grab this one i'm gonna decrease the size Okay, and now we can remove it from where we don't want. Okay, so now it's M on the keyboard to hide the mask. Okay, so first we use the white balance to I'm gonna click on the eyes and you can see the difference. So just by you know look at the difference. So next thing is to use the saturation. I'm gonna decrease the saturation crease to have something white not too much because it's going to lose all the colors so white is a color so i'm going to leave it just somewhere around there and we could increase the white and maybe the highlight and maybe the brightness a bit but not too much just a bit and we can decrease the saturation a bit so we can see before and after for eyes and no teeth whitening okay so i will go down to the color editor and let's see some colors at the present there i'm going to click on this one and it says the orange so for the orange let's desaturate the orange just to this extent and we have that let's see color present in the eyes still the same orange so we are good with the eyes and teeth whitening and next one i want to balance the skin the skin so let's create let's make name this one eyes and teeth hit enter i'm gonna do another one which is the new empty layer and i'm gonna select the skin let's rename this one skin s k i n skin need to enter i'll grab the magic brush too and i'm gonna just left click and over around the whole skin and 
hit M to see where selected so we can you know select more of those places and just around okay so that looks good to me uh we're gonna go to the color editor where it says skin tone and i'm gonna pick the dropper to i sampler to and let's see where we want all the skin to look like i prefer the end and i also prefer somewhere around here so let's look for the average i guess the end may look a little bit good let's use the hand let's just use the hand or let's use this side which is still the average okay so now we go to down to the uniformity tab and increase the uniformity of the U and right away you can see that the hand and the face are matching so let's not increase it too much that looks natural I'm gonna increase the saturation as well and this is going to make it more uniform just like that makes it more uniform and for you to look real we'll take it back a little let's bring up the brightness lightness and it's going to make it also uniform all right so just another one is the U. now it's looking maybe yellowish in color and I don't want that. I want it to look a little bit melaninish. Yeah, if there's something like that. So something like this looks amazing, but not too reddish like this, or not too yellowish like this. So let's find a sweet spot for it. I prefer something close to you know the brown skin. Yeah, this looks like the brown skin. <clears throat> so now we have that. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm going to create another empty layer and I'm just going to select some spots. So decrease the size and select this part. Hit M on the keyboard, you're going to see it's selected. And it's just selecting the old skin. I don't want the old skin. So right click and bring down the tolerance and the refined edge. And let's see what we can get. I'm going to click on that side. Hit M. Yeah, so we're good. I'm also going to click on this and click on that so it's going to select some part of the image so before that I'm going to turn off this one come here hit M on the keyboard to view the mask I'm going to grab the eraser tool and remove it from you know the lips because I'm going to be working differently on the lips so let's just erase yeah so it's M on the keyboard and let's continue the adjustment so M M so where we have all right so now I'm going to go back to the skin and I'm going to select a select uh, somewhere here and I want I'm going to increase it all the way up take the saturation to all the way up and the lightness let's bring it up a little bit and so we have that okay so saturation a bit take it up take it up and the hue I'm gonna take it backwards just to fit in what we have taking it forward yeah so let's take it forward so somewhere around 34 it's okay I'm gonna go to the yeah, where exposure and the highlight I'm gonna bring up the shadows so take up the shadows and you can see let's bring in up the shadows you can also bring up the black and we have that okay so one more thing we need to fix I'm going to create another layer let's close the exposure and this I'm going to bring up another layer so just little little adjustment can go a long way take the magic brush to I'm going to select this side and it's M I'm going to select here as well and maybe somewhere here okay so now let's adjust the exposure and the highlights for those places we can bring up the blacks and bringing up the blacks we can bring up the you know shadows and we have that uh, let's take it up all right so now that we have that one which could be fixed with frequency separation the way we have little little 
you know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna bring it up a bit again and you know take up the saturation you could go to the refined and suppress the halos let's take it all the way up suppress the halos and I'm sharpening yes aero suppression and noise suppression would we'll bring it up and just gonna smoothen it out a little bit okay so now that we have that <clears throat> let's work more on the you know background so I'm gonna create another layer this time empty layer select background select this side and this side so each time on the keyboard to view the places that are selected okay so I'm gonna go it M and you know uh, bring down the brightness just to make the image pop bring down the white bring down the highlight we could increase the blacks but I want things to you know be equal so let's increase the black and the shadows and now let's touch the exposure just a bit or let's let's just go to the color editor and let's check for the color go to the basic tab yeah select this too and then check for the colors it says blue we can decrease not the saturation the lightness and we have that we can decrease the saturation a little bit as well <clears throat> so not in order to make the image now look you know longer i'm going to be selecting the uh air so let's select the air grab empty layer select the brush magic brush select the air it's m on the keyboard to view select color range okay just the air all right let's actually add for it to select most part of the air <clears throat> and that's because it's a, it's too dark i'm just gonna use the brush tool and you know just over around even if we can't get all just gonna get little make the brush bigger and i'm gonna select the air like this so just little thing i want to adjust <clears throat> close that go to the exposure and let's decrease the saturation could increase the you know the blacks and make it not too much and the shadows bring it up a bit and throw down the highlight we could decrease the saturation the more okay so one last you no know, few layer and this would be for the uh color editor strictly for the color editor so pick the under the basic pick the sampler to click on this shows orange so let's find the sweet spot for that color range this is going to look red and this is going to look more like you know the way so let's turn off and on so i prefer it like this it's c0 no no zero 3.8 okay so but the saturation we could increase the saturation and i want it to look just natural i'm gonna bring it back a bit and bring this back a bit as well 3.2 and go to the red make it look like this increase saturation go to the yellows let's see about the saturation nothing happening yellow so let's look at before and after and this is before and now this is after this is before and now this is after <clears throat> so if you want is too much you can you know decrease but all look the same for me no too much difference just looking all natural okay so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video